This is sort of a follow-up to the live stream I did last week on Wednesday, you know, where we made all of the painty sticker papers. Well, this is to kind of answer that inevitable question. Yeah, but what do you do with them? <laughs> Normally, I just add them to the stack of the other ones that I made. <laughs> that's what I do with them. <laughs> but these I actually had a purpose for, and that's why I use sticker paper on them. I use them to make um, tiles, little art tiles, to give away in my Etsy shop when someone buys a custom keeper. So it's just, you know, a little fun piece of art, a little gift with purchase, and it's on a scrap piece of fused vinyl. Um, you don't have to use the fused vinyl. You can just use cardboard. So today that's kind of what I, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you kind of how to get to here and what you can use to do that, okay? So, alrighty, we start with our papers. So we did the papers, you know, right? We just painted them um, with liquid acrylic inks and then let them dry. And then the next thing I did for these tiles, let's see if I've got one that's kind of a, no, oh, no, none of them are actually a really good example. Okay, that's all right, because, okay, I just, all I did was I stamped an image in black on the background just all over to, you know, just to kind of add uh, something to the background and then Mod Podged it and then cut it up and stuck it on vinyl. That was all there was to it. And the different stamped images that I used, of course, most of mine are, you know, vintage. <laughs> They're images that are not made anymore. <laughs> but you can use whatever you have. If you don't have big background stamps, that's okay. Just get some smaller ones and use them over and over again. And you've got yourself a background, right? And it doesn't have to be neat. Some of them were kind of a disaster, but that's okay. If you're cutting it into tiles, it's, it's not even going to matter. So, um, let's just, let's do this. Didn't I pick out a sheet? I thought I picked out a sheet to use. No? Okay, we'll use the sheet. Take a sheet, get a stamp or several stamps. I'm going to use this big honkin' background stamp. This one may actually be, this one's from Judykins. Judykins is still around as far as I know. So <laughs> I don't know if this particular stamp still is, but that's all I know about that. And since I had my liquid acrylics out, that's what I used to stamp. Now, if you're one of those who likes your stamps pristine and you get really upset when they get all stained like this, then you're gonna not wanna use this liquid acrylic. Um, you can use, you're really gonna need to use a permanent ink for this. And I don't know which is worse, the liquid acrylic or permanent ink, because they're both gonna kinda stain your stamp. But that's just part of it, because you, know, you do need a permanent ink, just wash it right after you're done stamping and you should be okay. So I'm just going to take some black liquid acrylic. This one happens to be Liquitex Carbon Black. And brush. And then just brush it on. and then stamp it. And we're just kind of going randomly all over. Can you see? And it just adds a little something to the background. And I'm just gonna do that repeatedly. I'm not gonna worry about lining it up. This is not that kind of stamping. I need to get over this so I can see what I'm doing. There we go.
Okay, I think that is pretty good. Except for maybe right there. There we go. Now you're going to want to either let this dry or hit it with a heat gun. And then you're going to want to wash this pretty quickly so that this stuff doesn't dry on there. Now I'm going to let this dry. And while it's drying, I've got another one that I already did. Just random stamping on a painted background. And I'm going to give it a coat of Mod Podge. And this is why you need to use something permanent to stamp on here. Otherwise, the Mod Podge is going to smear it. Just an even, you know, medium coat, not thick, not thin. Just medium. Okay. Now we will set this aside to dry. Now, I've already got some dry that I did earlier that I'll show you. Okay, look at this. This is one that we did on the video the other day that I really loved. And this is after I stamped it with like this map stamp in black ink. And that's, that's all I did. But just look how fun. It just instantly made it fun because these were pretty much identical. You know, they'd been smushed. And I just love the stamped and then you know it's got the sheen from the the matte finish Mod Podge gives a little bit of a sheen and I just love that. So I've got these that I already stamped and I think I'm going to use one of these. Maybe this one. This one I used a, an azalea stamp all over it. When you cut it into tiles, you really can't see what the stamp image is. You just get little parts and pieces, so it doesn't really matter. All right. Now, this at this point, um, what I did the other day was I stuck... This is on sticker paper, so I stuck it onto some scraps of vinyl. And then I took my iron and just ironed over it because it kind of helps it to stick um, even better. So that's what I did, and my scraps were all different sizes, so I trimmed off the excess. And on some of them, I just had little bits that I trimmed off. So I put those little strips on some a scrap of release paper, so, you know, I've got little almost washi tapes. <laughs> and then the larger strips that I trimmed off, I just went in with some stencils and some white acrylic paint, just really thin, and stenciled and then did a little um, paint pen outline on some of them, not all of them. So there's these, and I can stick these on tiles and I wouldn't even need a foreground for some of these they're so pretty but anyway saved all my scraps but today what I'm going to do is put this on a piece of uh, card I keep saying cardboard and it's not it's chipboard find it there it is and it's kind of a heavy piece of chipboard it's actually I trimmed trimmed it to size but okay now you recognize it yeah <laughs> It was the backing to a sketchbook or journal or something. So that's what I'm going to use. Stick this down on here, just like so. And I'm not going to take the time to heat it, but if you iron it, it for some reason it really does make it stick a little better. Line it up. If I don't get it exact, that's okay. 
and just burnishing it down. Making sure there's no air bubbles. So now I'm ready to cut this into tiles, which I will do every time I cut on film I just make all kinds of people nervous because <laughs> they're convinced I'm going to chop fingers off and I have lots of scars where I've nearly succeeded in that. So I'm not going to film me cutting this. <laughs> I'm just going to do it and you can cut it in, into you know whatever size you want. I usually use like these ones that I made. These are two inch tiles and these are two and a half inch. So maybe I'll do a couple of two inch, a couple of two and a half inch, and then I'll come back and we'll stick a something on them. Okay, well that did not go as smoothly as I hoped it would. <laughs> this chipboard was a lot thicker than I realized and I had a hard time cutting through it. My edges are kind of, kind of a mess because of it. But that's okay, we're just gonna go with it. Um, cut just a few pieces, and now, I mean, some of these are so pretty, they're just fine like it is, like that. You know what I wanna do with this? I just wanna resin over that. I just think that's, okay, we might do that. Um, this one too, gosh, that just looks so pretty. Okay, maybe we'll resin those, but anyway. From this point, what I do is I usually put some kind of little focal something on there. Sometimes I'll doodle a little flower. The other day, I, I, have, I have one flower punch, <laughs> and it's one I got on clearance, and I know why, because it's a beast. It just, it's a problem. But anyway, it's shaped like this, and I punched out several of these flowers, and then I think probably the, the, sticker paper part kind of started gunking up the punch because it decided it didn't want to punch anymore. So anyway, I got a few out of it. So we can put those on here. Let me see what I've got punched out. And I like to get some that kind of go with the background but not necessarily to the point where it totally blends in. And these kind of totally blend in. Well, not too bad. I like that one. Yeah, these were ones, that, the scraps that I had stenciled over. Let's just do that one. And then I also punched out some circles to use for the middle. And let me find a good middle. These are all blue. I think I want that one. Yeah, that one for the metal. Okay. So then I just Mod Podged the... Okay. <laughs> yeah, and that's actually what I did. I Mod Podge when I first did this the other day. Mod Podge the entire sticker on there. Sticker paper and all. Because I completely forgot that this is a sticker. And... I was frustrated because it wasn't sticking and couldn't figure out why, and it was because I was trying to put the release paper on there. Okay, you don't need to Mod Podge it. You can, you know, put a coat over it if you want, but it's a sticker, so I'm just going to peel it and stick it. And it is just about exactly the same size as my tile, so... Do it just like that. Do I need to move in? Probably do. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see it's kind of hard to see because it blends in with the background. But that's all right because we're going to um, doodle on it or outline it or something. You can see these I've done. They're not quite finished. I just started on them but they're kind of dark to begin with so I outlined with a white paint pen or gel pen I don't know which one and I'm going to do the same here and I'm going to use white 
And I'm going to use a gel pen, Uniball Signo, uh, the 1.0 size. I really like this pen. And I'm just going to go around the edge. Okay, now I can kind of figure out what else I want to do. Oh, and I don't know. Oh, let me see. Look at some of my others and see what I did. This one I love, but it was all about the stenciling. I used a, a Colorful Life Design stencil over this and it just looked great and that's a little dotted background rubber stamp that's from a company that's gone <laughs> but it just turned out so cool looking I like that oh I love the dots love the dots that one's cute too that one is busy. Okay. Maybe I'll do some dots. Hmm. That's a good idea. I can do a white. If I make this white fatter, or if I use a white paint pen, I need a fat white paint pen. No, I don't want it that fat. Okay. I'm thinking out loud. I'm just going to use this as a Posca, Uni Posca 1M. 0.7 millimeter white. It's the kind with the little, you know, pointy. Use this one to make wider. See, I could have just used it in the beginning, if that's what you're thinking. Why didn't you just use that in the beginning? Well, because I didn't know what I wanted. Don't question me. I'm making this up as I go, clearly. So back off. <laughs> okay. I like that. Thick white lines. Now, <laughs> where my center go? Is that it? Yeah, I think that was it. Now I want to do the same thing here. Just kind of make a kind of sort of fat line. Okay, now I think I want to make little black dots. So, I've got my black pointy Posca. And I'm just going to make my little black pokey dots. Super cute and super easy. Now I want to finish the edges because you know it's not done till your edges are done. And I can do that either with a Sharpie or I've got this is a Pentel. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> 
All I know is it's oil-based, and I know that because I can smell it. <laughs> but that's what I'm going to use. And on these edges where, you know, I didn't line up my sticker paper, you know, really well with the thing, I just make up for it with the marker by just edging it like that. No one will know. So cute art tiles. You can send these as racks or, you know, in happy mail or make them a focal image on your journal page or a card or, you know, use a bigger size, just make it an ATC. You can use punched flowers. You can cut some out. You can draw some on there. You can use little pieces of um, these art pieces that were from a catalog that sold fine art prints and I just cut them out so really quick and easy art tiles that are fun and just as cute as can be you don't have to do a whole lot of doodling on them just outline the silly thing <laughs> call it done <laughs> okay that is all I have for you today. The end.